today we're going to be working with JavaScript's array.sort method, and we're going to be sorting this array of band names, but the kind of the catch that we have here is that you need to sort them without the an or a in front of the actual band name because those are articles and they don't go into alphabetizing your actual uh, name of your band. So go ahead and, and pause the video. I think that you can do this on your own. Or at least give it a good shot and try to build this where you sort this array first. And then once you've sorted the array without the an or a, then put them into the actual HTML here. But notice how the an or a still come along for the ride. They're just not affecting the sort order. So pause the video and come back when you've given it a good shot. Welcome back. So here I am. I'm going to first make a sorted bands variable and we'll take the bands and we are going to sort it. Now we know that sort will take a function name that gives us A and B. And what is A? A is going to be the first thing that it passes us. B is going to be the second. It's sort of like it gives you two apples in either hand and you're like, which one is bigger? And then the bigger one you move to the top and the other one you move to the bottom or the one that is comes earlier in the alphabet you move to the top and the other one you put in the bottom and then you you toss the bigger one and you get another apple in your hand and you've got that that first apple from the first bunch and then the second apple from the second bunch and you say which one's bigger and you just keep doing that over and over and over again until you have a sorted list that's how this that's why it always gives you two things so normally what we do is we say if a is greater than b and we can just do this even though they're not numbers it's still going to work with strings because they're alphabetical so if a is bigger than b then we will return one else we are going to return negative one and let's just console log the sorted bands let's see what we've got here so we've got our data and it is alphabetizing it but it is basing it off of a uh, and the so what we need to do is go up here and create a new function that I like to call strip. And it's going to take in the band name. And then from there, we are going to return the band name, but we are going to replace the word the or a uh, or an. So uh, one way that we could replace all three in one go is to use a regular expression. And we can say when it starts with, that's what the caret is for. And I'm by no means a regular expression expert. If you know anything about regex, you probably find a better way to do this. But uh, the way that I've done it is you can say ah, the, or an, and you want to make that insensitive. So it's going to match like an, or an, or an. So there we go. And I'm sure there's like a flag you can pass that you don't need that space in there where you could say just match a whole word. What I'm trying to do is, is make sure that we don't catch this where somewhere like anywhere starts with an, but that's not actually the article. And so we are replishing. Make sure you spell replace right. And we are going to be replacing that with nothing. And then we'll just call trim on the end there just in case we have any spaces. So if after it, good. Then what we could do, let's let's see if that works actually. So if I call that strip function from the console, say an old dog, it returns you old dog, you uh, an old dog, or an old dog, it won't do it. The old dog will give you old dog. Good. So that function is working. Now what we can do is we simply just change our if statement to say strip and strip. And notice how we are only using strip in the if statement, and we're not actually going to be modifying this data. So the data that we use to decide where it goes is not necessarily the data that is going to be in the array. So we're using strip. Now let's see where we're at. Good. Anywhere but here, the bled counterparts, the Devil Wars Prada. Good. So now it's totally ignoring it. We can like make this a lot easier here. So first of all, what we could do, we could simply just make it return. Strip A is greater than strip B. If that is true, we return one. Otherwise, we return negative one. So we're just using a ternary operator there. Still works good. Uh, we can make this an arrow function. Good. Still works. And now you see my editors yelling at me because it's if you if the only thing you're doing in a function is returning something, you can use the implicit return. So I'm going to take off that bracket 
in the semicolon. I take off this bracket and I put it on its own on the same line. I'm going to remove the return keyword, and that's doing the exact same thing just in one hot line. There we go, working good. So we have the bands.sort, and now we will go ahead and grab our bands, which is here. Say document dot query selector pound bands dot inner HTML equals. We'll take our sorted bands and we are going to loop over each of them. So we'll use map. And from that map, we will return the band, but the band in a list item, and then we will join it all in one go. So what does that do? It takes the element and sets the inner HTML to be, and we could put this on its own line, sorted bands, but we want to map over each of those. And then that's going to return an array. So we want to join it. So we're at, there we go. Anywhere but here, the bled, we've got everything being dumped into the DOM there. Let me show you real quick. If I take that join off, you'll notice that we get these commas showing up here. And that's because what happens is we have this sorted bands array, which is everything. And if you were to call that to string on it, then that's exactly what the DOM will do. When you try to set something to enter HTML that is not a string, like an array, then it will just call dot to string on it. And by default, it's going to put a comma in between each one. So we need to put that dot join on the end. So that will join it into one big string rather than a bunch of strings with a comma in between. So let's double check that working great. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I will see you tomorrow.